next I went to the city and I can't remember if I got, if I told you guys that in the beginning but anyway I went to the city New York City and I found this jewelry store where everything was $2.99 and I've been finding a lot of these lately it used to be that they did have inexpensive jewelry stores in the city like Cinderella Club and places like that where you could get jewelry like Forever 21 type of jewelry but now they have these $2.99 stores my hair is huge which are even cheaper than that so I've been getting a lot of stuff from there. These are actually from a different $2.99 store, but anyway. So I got this necklace, which was $2.99. It's a teddy bear and it's an orange. I think this is so, so cute. And it's just on a, it's all tangled, but it's just on a chain. Okay, and then it's tangled with this one, which is another necklace I got. It's a jump roping girl. I think that's so cute. And it has a double chain. Oh, okay, I was able to get this one, I guess. Um, it has a double chain, and then this is the other chain, so all together it kind of looks like this. It has a little purse on it. And then I got two of these rings. These I really like. Um, they were, I think they're like foil kind of on the inside, and I got one in a color that I could wear just regularly every day. It would match a lot of stuff, and one that's just kind of a really fun one. And so I think these look really nice, and I like them a lot. Then I got this ring, which I kind of like and it's made of wire and I probably shouldn't have bought it if I kind of liked it but I was just in the store and they have so much stuff so you kind of want everything and these earrings also I just kind of like but they're really cool they have glitter in them I think they're made with resin so yeah and I actually went to the city to get beads because I'm gonna start making my own jewelry and that's what I mostly got I'm not gonna show you guys the beads because I think that's boring but once I make jewelry I'll definitely show it to you guys and I used to sell my jewelry on an Etsy website Brino and Dino and then my friend Dino who is obviously that's why our brand was called Brino and Dino she kind of didn't I don't know she kind of stopped making jewelry I don't want to say anything bad because she's my best friend and she's awesome and everything but yeah she kind of stopped making jewelry that's not really bad at all so uh, we kind of ended that but I I kind of stopped making jewelry after that because I got into YouTube instead and now I have a lot of free time so I can do both anyway so I got these earrings which are flowers I like these they're made of uh, meshy stuff and then other things too that was descriptive and then I got there are two of these but it's really hard to show you these. They're spider earrings, and you can't tell at all. But they're just little spider studs, and they're really cute. Okay, and then I wound up at the Anna Sui store, and her store is so, oh my god, I loved everything in there, but it was already really expensive. And this lipstick was really expensive. I'm not sure if I regret buying it, but the packaging, I had to buy it because of the packaging. I know that's kind of bad, but look at it. It's so cute. And I bought it in 371 and it's really moisturizing lipstick which I like and it's not too pigmented so I don't really like to wear lipstick that much it's just mostly glitter I don't know you guys really can't see that but I'll just put it on my lips it's very glittery and it's a lot of fun so I can carry this around and just wear it instead of lip gloss because it's so moisturizing and it's not too dramatic but it does add a little bit of pink and it adds a lot of glitter and I love glitter so it's so fun look I love this. And then I ended up at the MAC store and I didn't buy anything in terms of makeup but I did get another palette because I can't really fit my eyeshadows in my makeup storage bin anymore and I could just get another makeup storage bin which would be another solution but I just feel like if I depot them I can go back to macking so I'm gonna depot them and put them in here and the what's that collection called I knew it I always know this collection this summer whatever the summer to the beach collection is coming out I am so so excited for that so I just got this palette and I'm gonna be able to go and back to Mac for some of those things because I want like half the things from that collection and I actually saw it they have it in Nordstrom right now they're pre-ordering it so if you want to go look at it and you just can't wait to go and try on the colors and things then you can go do that now you can't actually buy it but you can look at it that way also when it comes out online you can just go online and you already know what you want because you've seen the stuff okay and then I went to the Salvation Army and I got this purse right here and it has a Native American on it which I love and it was five dollars which I think is a really great deal because 
I looked on Etsy and they're selling purses very similar to this for like $60 and I think it's real leather and everything because I think somewhere on here it says it's real leather. I'm not going to find that right now but and then the back looks like this. I think it's so cool and I especially love it because it's Native American. And then I got this Forever 21 purse because the other purse that I just showed you doesn't fit any of my stuff. So that purse can be for if I'm just running out of the house and just want to show off my purse. But I really like this one too. It's blue and it's a really nice blue. It's like a royal blue. And the inside is so cute. It has um, this pattern right here. It's really girly and lacy and a lot of fun. And then it comes with another strap. It comes with this strap. So I'm probably not going to use this but that's okay because it was $30 and it's so soft. I know it's not real leather or anything but it was it's really soft so I kind of like to just tuck it and it's all floppy and it fits everything. And my other purse that I was using was really big but it was wintry. I'll show it to you guys another time if you want but maybe I'll do a purse collection video. But anyway now I'm going to probably do a what's in my purse video soon. I'm also going to do an eyeshadow collection video soon just because my eyeshadows will be a little bit more organized so I can do that for you guys and I know I did a makeup collection but I'll be more specific I'll point out all the eyeshadows and give a little quick review of them and then the last thing I got was a pair of pants and they're really not that interesting but I kinda like this lining anyway they were from H&M it was pouring rain in the city and I was freezing and my pants were soaked and the rest of me was soaked too but I didn't want to buy an entire outfit so these pants were twenty dollars so they're just they're skinny jeans I would walk back but they're really just plain black skinny jeans and I actually don't have them. I think they're going to be pretty useful and I actually do really like them but they were kind of emergency pants. I did not want to go into a New York store and buy a pair of sweatpants or anything like that because that would just be a waste of money and these were probably cheaper and I like them a lot more and I'm going to wear them all the time so I'm really happy that I happened to run into an H&M on my way back because I was going to be sitting on the train and the train was freezing but yeah anyway so that was my super rambly haul video and have a great day, guys. Bye.